Hey everybody, this is Daniel. Today we're going to be making a uh, O1 bushcraft knife from uh, start to finish. Check it out. Alright, let's get right down to business. Uh, I have three feet of precision ground O1 steel here. It's a uh, 3 16th inch thick. It's going to be a great choice for camp or bushcraft knife. I'm going to measure out a 9 inch section and uh, go ahead and chop it up on my chop saw here. Alright, so I have the uh, steel stock measured out. Four cuts here. All right, and chop off a piece. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is go ahead and grind a profile. Uh, this is a cool low budget method because you can just chop your blank out and then use the grinder to get it how you want. All right, so I'm gonna start profile. I'm gonna have a little mark on there so I know how far to grind ahead for my handle and that's about it on this one uh, I've got the grinder in full speed uh, use a 40 to 60 grit belt to go ahead and grind your profile alright so here's a little tip if you're uh, profiling your knives out on the grinder to make it go faster and I'm doing this with the grinder off so you guys can hear hang your belt off one edge just a little bit and uh, go in at a, a bit of an angle here let me see if I can focus this you want to start working at an angle and it's going to take metal off much much faster than if you were to do it straight. Pretty basic tip but uh, you can actually profile a knife really quickly this way. Alright, and uh, since I have them off, here's the respirator I use, full face, so you don't get uh, metal particles in your eyes. You'll find after a while if you're wearing safety glasses you'll still get metal in your eyes which you don't want. And you want some ear protection too, you don't want metal in your ears even if your grinder's not too loud, which mine is. All right. All right, we got this one profiled here. It's still hot. <laughs> I'm going for a really uh, straight look on the spine. I think this one is gonna be a really useful utility knife and uh, it's just profiled out the 60 grit and that's it. So we have a lot more work to go. All right, for the next step, I've gotten rid of the 10 inch contact wheel, which is a uh, Better for doing lots of metal removal, and I've put on the two inch and plating setup. What we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, clean up the perimeter with some 80 grit. So, next, you wanna go ahead and uh, mark your holes, make sure they look good. We're gonna get them drilled after that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do a quarter inch uh, flared tube. Uh, check out your drill bit chart if you want, and you'll see uh, just above quarter inch is the F bit. That's the uh, size I use for that tube. It works a lot better than trying to fit a quarter inch tube and a quarter inch hole. All right, time to drill. I use a one, two, three block so I can set my work up high with a firm grip. I have a little line scribe that'll kind of help catch your drill bit in the right spot or you can use a center punch which works even better. So the holes are all drilled now. I have a couple for the rivets and then I have some uh, extra ones for glue to pass through and to help lighten the knife a little bit. I chucked up an 82 degree chamfer bit. That's a standard one from the hardware store and knocked off all the corners. Uh, that also helps during heat treat uh, to reduce any chance of getting stress cracks and also keeps your knife nice and clean looking. Once you have your holes done you're going to go ahead and uh, put on a 120 belt and clean up the flats on the knife. After that I go to 220 and then I put it on a uh, surface plate and get it cleaned up to 220 also. If you don't have a surface plate you can use a piece of glass or anything that's really flat. Now we're in the heat treat shop. I uh, have my kiln preheated to 1500 went ahead and put the knives in there and I'm going to hold them at 1500 for about 25 minutes and then they're going to go down here into my quench oil which is preheating right now to about 120 degrees once I take them out of the quench and they're about a they they just stop smoking they'll be about 900 degrees take them to these plates to make sure they're dead straight that's just an extra process I do to help out with quality and then we're going to go over here to the temper oven, which I also have a digitally controlled temper oven. That's how important heat treat is over here. And it's still heating up. And we're going to go ahead and do a double temper at about two and a half hours each time with a water cool down in between. And that's going to be the heat treat for this 01 steel. Okay, it's time to quench.
you guys can see, it's uh, still smoking right now. Almost there. Let me give it just a second more. Looks nice and straight. It's really hot still. I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna go onto the plates. Set my tongs down. And hopefully you guys can see this. All right, and then I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on the plates. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off. So I just pulled this one out of the plate. It's still covered with oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. All of the uh, scale popped off, it's nice and smooth. That's a uh, really good sign that the heat treat went well. And I'm gonna, without hesitation, just go right here into the temper oven. Just a moment. And there we go. Everything was quenched nicely and is in the temper oven now. We're at a 450 for a little over two hours. What I like to do after that is cool the knives down rapidly in cool water. And we're going to go right back into the kiln for another cycle of two hours. Um, since the first one was 450, I'll go 10 degrees less. It'll be 440 for that. That should give me about 61 Rockwell on these knives. And uh, after that, they'll go ahead and just cool off slowly in the oven overnight. We'll be on to uh, part two tomorrow, which will be starting up the handles and hopefully leading up to glue up and all that. I just want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my work. And everybody have a great day.